Kilauea's summit eruption is still pending, but lava is still flowing. A white cloud of volcanic gas billowed above Kilauea volcano Saturday afternoon on the Big Island, watching a live stream of the summit caldera at times nearly obscuring the image from a camera watching from the rim of Halamaumau crater. Gone were the fountains that erupted from the vents on the southwest side of the caldera, shooting bright red and orange lava 100 feet into the air and sending streams that covered much of the crater floor in downhill blocks. After more than a week of consistent, and sometimes powerful, activity, Kilauea's summit eruption remained at a standstill Saturday afternoon. Episode 3 of the eruption that began in the early hours of December 23, 2024, abruptly stopped Friday, with the only remaining lava fountain at the southern vent rapidly dying down around 8.40 p.m. We flew in this morning, but it seems to have stopped, wrote an anonymous member Saturday morning in the Facebook group We Love Kilauea and Mauna Loa Volcanoes. I literally wanted to cry. This has been on my bucket list for years. Another group member assured the group that visiting the park was definitely still worth it, and just seeing the glow of the lava lake was a magical experience. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported Saturday morning in its daily Kilauea update that the glow from the crater floor was still visible because of the eruption and the upturned crustal plates exposing the molten lava. The glow could last for days. It makes sense. The area where the automated laser rangefinder points to the crater floor has risen nearly 50 feet during the eruption. That's a lot of lava being returned to the caldera, especially after a partial collapse during the Lower East Rift Zone eruption in 2018. But the level has gradually dropped by about 10 feet since the lava fountain shut down Friday night. There was no visible lava flow back into the vent after the lull, and the gradual decline in the lava surface was more likely due to the loss of gas bubbles. The summit lava contains 50% or more bubbles, or the very slow leakage of lava into the vent beneath the crust. Be sure to go tonight and enjoy the glow from the lava lake, Tammy Patterson urged. See the rest of the park during the day, too, if you have time. Lava or not, it's a sight to behold. Robin Lynn was a few hours late seeing the big fountain after coming from Oahu to see the eruption on Monday when it began, but she said it was still one of the most amazing nights of her life. The glow from the lava lake, the glowing cracks and crevices, the stars. It was just amazing, Lynn wrote. Go at night and you won't be disappointed, you'll be blown away. Rachel Mercer also cautioned that the eruption has stopped and started quite often, so it's possible it could start again. <laughs>